Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at a very impressive mod. You may have already seen this on the workshop, but it's called the Stealth Drive, which does exactly what you expect. It makes your entire ship become invisible, making it so enemies cannot lock onto you, so you can skedaddle away from combat, or even just sneak up onto people if you want to get an advantage in combat. Just grabbing hold of my character and just angling camera like so, pressing number one, the ship is now going to vanish, where all we can see are the lights, and the thrusters. For the lights around the ship, you can simply turn them off, there we go, but for the thrusters, you may need to use recoverable thruster mods in order to make them less apparent. And it would be even better if you were to say use a black thruster color against a black skybox, unlike what I'm currently using with default colors on a very vibrant skybox. So the way this mod works and the blocks that are included is that you get two blocks. You get yourself the stealth drive and then you get heat sinks. The stealth drive is just you slap it on the ship, a large block, small block, or a vehicle, you toggle the switch, and you become invisible for a set amount of time. The time you spend invisible is going to be depending on the size of the ship, such as the ship I'm currently using right now is very, very big, so I only get about 20 seconds by default. But if you're using a smaller ship, you'll probably get a lot longer. Just grabbing my character out of the chair, this is the stealth drive right below me, it's just a big old cube. And right next to me is the heat sinks. The heat sinks are very important because this is what's going to be used to extend the time while invisible. The more you have, the longer you'll spend invisible. But there is a catch. This whole mod has a system of heat, where the longer you spend invisible, the longer the time it will take before you can use it again. And while you're cooling down, while the mod is currently disabled, you're going to get a big old marker on your ship telling everyone in a very big range where your location is, and the fact that you've been cloaking. But I'll show you that in just a minute. So before I get back into the chair and show you some of the controls, i just come into here, find the stealth drive, there it is, these are the costs we get, so it is bloody expensive for the large, and still very expensive for the small block version, and here is the heatsink, there we go, so it is a bloody expensive block, but I think it's very much worth it, especially in the emergency where you need to run away from an enemy to save your ship. Getting back into this seat, we'll now come into the eye menu, come to the control panel, and find the stealth drive once again, these are the only controls we get in here, so we can see the drive status is ready, we can see our stealth duration, which is a bit of a lie, but there is the surface area, there is the power required, and there is the detection radius, which is going to be the signal that shoots out when you're cooling down. So yes, we can enter stealth through here, leave stealth, or if it was to bring up this menu, you can always just use these. So what I've done is activated a toggle where I can activate this, I'm now going to be invisible, and I'll be invisible for a very short amount of time. So coming to here, I only get about 35 seconds, which is a bit lower than the 50 seconds is stated. Let's put the signals on. There we go, and then come out of stealth. Now see, we have a orangey marker that says heat signature. And this is what can be seen by a massive range by everyone around you to see that you've been sneaking around. Before we test this out on the Earth-like planet against a pirate outpost using a small block ship, there are a few limitations we have to go through. So while you're stealthed, all your weapons are disabled. So you cannot preemptively start firing on an enemy while cloaked. You do have to fully decloak before you can actually activate them. And this also goes for modded weapons such as the weapon core mods, and also for the shield mods. If you have a shield mod activated and use a stealth drive, it will disable your shields before stealthing. And here we are, we're now roughly one kilometer out from the enemy base, and I'm going to activate the cloaking drive, and I'm going to vanish as I start to approach it. And there is absolutely no gunfire coming from that station. You can see the Gatling gun sitting right there. What's the hover in place? There we go, and of course I can't fire any guns in this, so there's no preemptive shooting. But there is that rocket turret, let's go and sit right next to it. In first person view, that is what we get, so we're not cloaked in first person view. And I am very slowly crashing down to the ground. Going to raise this all the way up. And any moment now, I should start to decloak. And the turret will start blasting. There we go, as soon as that toggled off, now starting to blast into the cockpit. And there goes the front of the ship. But there we go, that is what the stealth drive does, it's an absolute fantastic mod, very self-explanatory, it just makes you go invisible for a set amount of time, makes you cool down for the amount of time you spend invisible, and you can extend your duration using heat sinks if you need it. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download it and play around with it yourself, highly recommend you do because it is a bloody fantastic mod, even for standard survival mode. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.